Yeah, Roughnecks. The Roughnecks open their 2014 home campaign tomorrow night at the Dome. This guy's going to be a big part of it. Uh, the Roughnecks are hoping Superman will come to the rescue against the Mammoth. We're talking about Curtis Dixon. Uh, Curtis has earned the nickname Superman for his well, ability and habit of flying through the crease and putting the ball in the net. Uh, Curtis had five game-winning goals last year, 42 goals in total. Uh, Superman making a quick stop in the BT studio this morning, uh, incognito, so to speak. Uh, <laughs> Curtis, thanks for coming in. What do you think of the nickname Superman? I mean, uh, do you like it? Do you, you feel weird? What? No, it's pretty cool. That's obviously. cool. I just, as long as people know it's not self-proclaimed. Uh, <laughs> one of the announcers in my first year kind of came up with it and. He started it and just kind of stuck with me for the stuck last uh, three years going into this year. So I, I can't complain. It's kind of cool. That's okay. And, and for people at home who may not know the rule, why do you jump through the crease? It has to do with the lines around the net, right? Yeah, your foot, no part of your body can touch down inside the crease before yeah. the ball crosses the goal line. Okay. So as long as the ball crosses the goal line before you, any part of you touches the crease. And then, then you come crashing down. Good, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's so. what you need the elbow pads for. It's, it hurts a lot less when the ball goes in the net. So. <laughs> yeah. No kidding, no kidding. Um, uh, an indoor, the indoor lacrosse blog ranks you as the number six player in the league. The U.S. Box Lacrosse Association has you pegged at number one. Either way, uh, big expectations. Uh, do you like that pressure? Do you, do you kind of jump on that and, and use it as a kind of way to get you up? Or? Yeah, I mean, obviously you see the names at the top of those lists, and there's some uh, pretty, pretty amazing talent. So uh, it's a pretty big honor to be up on those lists and you know when it comes to the end of the game you always want to be the guy with the ball in your stick. Yeah, and no I, kidding, that's right? That's something I kind of relish and you know, um, you know, I, I love being that guy so looking forward to doing it. We're rolling that. highlights here. See you celebrating a goal right there. Wearing a big number 17. Uh, there's a significance to that, right? Yeah, my actually uh, my dad grew up playing lacrosse. That's kind of how I got into it. And he uh, wore 17. All my cousins wore 17. So it's basically just kind of been in the family. So 17. Worn 17 my whole life. Lucky number for you. I guess, sir. All right. So you're facing Colorado uh, at the Dome for the home opener. How did the first game go on the road for you guys? Not so good. Um, yeah. You know, we had a bit of a tough start there. Toronto kind of stomped us in their home barn. Um, but you know what? We're it's a long season. It's 18 games this year. Two more games than last year. So. We got some uh, time to clean things up and turn it around, so I think we're going to be ready to go on uh, Friday night. What can fans look for from you guys as a team in this league? Uh, you know, we're going to make a lot of noise. We're, uh, we've been good. To, we've been a good regular season team the last two years. We've been first in the West the last couple of years, and we just haven't uh, really put it together in the playoffs. So I think this year's you know going to be different. It's a little bit of different playoff format this year. It can you know it turns into kind of a best of three. So you know you can go out and have a stinker. And still have a chance to come <laughs> back and win a chance, series, yeah. so it's not the one and done like it used to be. So, I think that works in our favor, and we're we're looking forward to it. Yeah, you must like that, eh? Because I mean, every team does have an off night occasionally, right? Where things like even if it's just weird bounces, it does happen. So this gives you a, a chance to kind of recoup and come back. Exactly, and that's kind of been our fault the last couple of years. We've come out and had those stinkers in the in the first round of the playoffs. So I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be good for us. Good for you guys. Uh, any guys you're looking forward to playing with again this year in particular? Uh, our whole offense, you know, playing with yeah. the former MVP from last season, Sean Evans. Yeah. He's a treat. You know, he's he's uh, one of the best players, if not the best player in the world right now. So him and, you know, guys like Dolby, Shadler, Veltman, everyone up on the offense, there's, you know, tall, top-notch skilled athletes. So they make my life, you know, pretty easy. Very cool. Uh, I get, well, you got to mention this. The Riggers are opening their home schedule tomorrow against Colorado, the Mammoth at the Dome. We want to send you to the game. We have a gift pack uh, for you. 7 o'clock, by the way, ball drop. A gift pack that includes uh, four tickets, a couple of ball caps. You get to, a card to spend on some uh, beverages or snacks while you're watching the guys play lacrosse. In honor of Curtis's number, number 17 is going to be the winner today. So hit up our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Daily prizing. Tell us you're entering for the Calgary Roughnecks prize pack and uh, good luck. Again, entry number 17, full rules and uh, contest rules on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Curtis, good luck. Nice to meet you. Thank you, sir. New Calgary guy, cutting down on his flights now. Got me, uh, Cal or, sorry, Vancouver guy, now a Calgary person. Yes, sir. Welcome to our city. Pleasure to be Looking here. Looking forward to the big game <laughs> against Colorado. Looking